Hello everyone, myself Kesab Kumar Agrawal. In this project, I am going to demonstrate on the project Password Protected Door Lock. For this project, I have used Tinkercad for simulating the project and this is the circuit diagram of the project where I have used a 4 cross 4 keypad which has 4 rows and 4 columns, a servo motor and an LCD display. The keypad consists of 8 pins. Uh, there are 4 pins corresponding to 4 rows, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and there are 4 row of pins for column pins, column 1, column 2, column 3 and column 4. So I have connected all the 8 pins to from pin number 0 to pin number 7. This is a servo motor which has 3 pins, ground pin, power pin and a signal pin. I have connected a signal pin to pin number 9 and this is an LCD display for which I have connected all the data pins from A0 to A5. Now, this is the code of the project. First of all, I have defined three header files keypad.h, liquidcrystal.h and servo.h. As keypad.h is for uh, using the keypad, liquidcrystal.h is corresponding to LCD display and servo.h is for servo motor. And I have defined a variable my servo which comes under the servo data type and I have connected all the data pins of LCD display to A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. Now I have defined a variable position and set initially it to uh, 90 degree. It uh, uh, implies that when the position is equal to 0 degree then the door is open but when the position is 90 degree then the door is locked. So initially the door is locked so I have defined the position to be 90 degree. Now I have defined two array data and password of length 5 and its type is character and the initial uh, password I have defined is 1234 and set a data count to be 0. Now I have to uh, structure the keypad uh, so I have defined the keypad structure inside this. Uh, for this I have defined number of rows to be 4, number of columns to be 4 and this is the structure of the keypad where there are 4 rows and 4 columns. After that, I have connected all the row pins of the keypad to the pin number 7, 6, 5 and 4 and the column pins to the pin number 3, 2, 1 and 0. This is the keypad custom keypad function which will uh, make the keypad in working state. Now, in the void setup section, so, uh, first of all, I have attached the uh, servo motor to the pin number 9 by the function my servo dot attach pin number 9. After that, I have set the LCD display to be 16 cross 2. Initially, I am printing protected door on the LCD display. After that, I have uh, I have called the function loading uh, in which I have passed a message loading. So, what is loading function? This is a loading function in which I have to take a message from the user and then I have to print this message to the uh, first rows and zeroth column and then it will count up to 5 seconds. Now so since the message pass is loading so it will print the loading and it will count up to 5 seconds. After that in the void loop section I have applied a condition if position is equal to 90 degree. Position is equal to 90 degree rep uh, represents that the door is locked. So if the door is locked then I have to open the keep uh, door by inserting the password through the keypad. So I have defined a open function. But if the other condition is false, then the door will be locked and uh, uh, the position will be 90 degree. So what is the open function? So for that, I have to come here. Now, uh, what is the open function? In the open function, uh, first of all, I have uh, set the cursor of the LCD to 00. It implies that 0th row and 0th column and print the message enter password. After that, I, have, I will take the password from the user. For that, I have used a custom keypad.get key function. Uh, so when a user insert any key from the keypad then that will be stored in the custom key uh, after that I have applied condition if custom key that is if uh, any pin is inserted by the user then data data count or is equal to custom key where initially I have defined data count to be zero you can see that data count to be zero so data of zero is equal to custom key similar and it will uh, print the cursor to the next column of the same row that is first row second column and uh, it will print the data it will take the data inserted by the user now i will compare the data given by the user and already defined password inside the program so for that i have used a string compare function 
string compared function and zero if both the data and password is equal so i have applied condition not of string compare data comma password that is if data and password is true then this condition will be true and then it will execute these instructions so first of all it will clear the screen and set the cursor to the zero row and first column and it will print the access granted and after so after uh, that it will print welcome and the position becomes zero degree and it implies that a door is open and to open the door i have uh, used my server dot write function uh, and inserted the position uh, to be zero the motor will be rotated to zero degree that will that is it will open after that i have give, given a delay of 5000 nanoseconds it is a password protected door so after opening the door uh, it will uh, re uh, close the door after a fixed interval of time so i have um, given a five time fixed interval of time through the loading function of five seconds and then it will uh, print time is up and it will re lock the door by changing the position to be 90 degree that will um, rotate the servo motor to 90 degree and the door will be closed if the above condition is not true and that is the password inserted by the user is not same as the password defined then it will print the wrong password and the position is 90 degree that is door will be closed now i am going to demonstrate the project i have to insert the password 1234 so first of all you can see it will it is printing protected door and after that it is printing loading and count for 5 seconds and initial the door is locked and uh, position of servo motor is 90 degree now, now it is printing to enter the password so my password is 1234 so i have to insert the password 1234 so 1 2 3 and 4 it is printing access granted and welcome the servo motor is uh, rotated to 0 degree that is the door is open now it is printing waiting and after a five, fixed interval of time, it is printing time is up and relocking the door. Then it will relock the door and the servo motor is rotated to 90 degree. That is the door is locked. Again, it is inter asking for enter password. Now, what will happen when I will uh, insert the wrong password? For example, I heard 1, 2, 3, 5. Then it will print the wrong password and then it will again ask to insert the password. So the project is working fine. That's all from this project. Thank you.